Good morning, folks. We had some unexpected space weather overnight, and we're going to look at a study that hits a key topic, but in a likely incorrect way. Let's get started with our star. And up there, our sun was pretty quiet. Still no flaring from the sunspots, and after the limb eruption we saw yesterday morning, the eruptive activity has somewhat disappeared. We see the dark coronal holes as well, but the story is in the solar wind where the previous coronal hole stream impacted and combined with a minor CME launched four days ago. The stream is impacting more than a day later than expected, but is doing so with considerable strength. It's acting like a one-two punch with the small CME telemetry showing increasing plasma pressure, and this morning the faster component of the solar wind is arriving. That's from the coronal hole. It drove a brief level 2 geomagnetic storm overnight, which is waning back now, but which did give a good whack to our field. Minor electrical system disruptions are possible today as that energy works through the geosystems. Neither portion of the impact was too powerful, but together they presented that one-two punch that is the bigger concern for stronger events and which took those two small events and produced a relevant geomagnetic storm. Our lone article of the day deals with the ripples in the Milky Way galactic plane. Unfortunately, the paper doesn't use all of the available model and observational data and concludes that it's caused by the ongoing collision with the Sagittarius dwarf galaxy, what's creating those ripples. Earlier this year, however, we saw the definitive paper debunking that idea, with there being no way to recreate the homogeneous ripple character with such an interaction. It would look far more discontinuous and not like a wavy sheet. True enough, as we've said before, the cause of the rippling sheet isn't really as important as the existence of the wave pattern. Regardless of the source, it's going to have a similar effect, but in this realm of galactic astrophysics, we do indeed want to have all of the correct answers. Nevertheless, it's there, as we've shown several times. It's currently affecting our solar system as we pass through the wave, and that is the best explanation for all the changes we're seeing now and for the cyclical nature of those changes. Last week, we got this video, and it goes over the importance of the galactic sheet ripples and all the ways we know it's there here actually right now the cyclical disaster for our solar system is in progress and that's going to continue folks most of the tickets for our october event are gone so if you plan to come see us in southern arizona on october 14th better get to the link below the video as we said before it's not a meet and greet but a more formal event and i'll be giving a presentation on our ongoing situation look in the description box right below the video for that link to the event and also to our playlists, website, and our store, where for just three more days, everything is 20% off, including our books on this ongoing event. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.